Welcome to training for Service Unit Cookie Managers, and thank you for volunteering to support Girl Scouts in the Cookie Program. You play an important role with Troop Cookie Coordinators and Leaders in your Service Unit. As a reminder, your role as the Service Unit Cookie Manager is to appoint the Troop Cookie Coordinators and review data and entry reports. You are the point person for your Service Unit team. Other team members operate independently, but should refer most questions to you. There is a brief quiz at the end of this training, and you are encouraged to take notes. Keep an eye out for the green star, which indicates an answer you may need for a quiz question. If you have questions that this training does not answer, bring your questions to the Part 2 in-person workshop or email us at customercare at girlscoutsoc.org with the subject cookie question. You are also welcome to go back and view this training later. Now, let's get started. Let's begin by reviewing the materials you may receive and will need for your role. At the end of November, your Service Unit Materials Coordinator will receive a shipment of important materials for the Girl Scout Cookie Program. These will include the Girl Rewards Flyer and Receipt Books. If Girl Scouts of Orange County did not know the name of your Service Unit Materials Coordinator in October when this information was due to the bakery, we used your address. If you receive this shipment of materials, please pass them along to your Service Unit Materials Coordinator as soon as possible. You will also pick up additional materials for your Service Unit Materials Coordinator at your Part 2 workshop. This will include family guides and troop plan books. In December, the Service Unit Materials Coordinator should collate troop packets and distribute them to your troops right away. Troops need their materials to complete their training, host family meetings, and be ready to place their initial cookie order in early January. The Service Unit Materials Coordinator will also receive two items to give you the troop distribution sheets, or dot sheets. You will print initial orders on the dot sheets in January and give them to your service unit cookie distributor to use at service unit cookie distribution day or turn into Girl Scouts of Orange County and Irvine if you're a part of the mega delivery. And a cookie sampler containing one package of each variety of cookies to share with troop leaders at a service unit meeting. Girl Scouts will also receive materials to support them in the cookie program. Girls will receive a girl packet mailed directly to them the second week of January, and they should arrive in the girls' mailboxes well in advance of the cookie program start date. The girl packet consists of a letter to the girls explaining the contents of the girl packet, a cookie order card, a money envelope, a cookie guide for girls with important program dates, goal tracker, cookie share information, and a simple script girls can use when going door to door. Girls will also receive information regarding GSUSA's Cookie Pro Contest. Encourage your Girl Scouts to watch for their girl packet mailing. Girls who register or renew in December will not be included in the mailing list to receive their girl packet. Their parent or guardian should contact customer care to have a packet mailed to their girl. You will also be given extras to share with troops. In late January, Girl Scouts will receive a cookie launch email from no reply at abcsmartcookies.com. Remind Girl Scouts to check their spam or junk folders and to add no reply at abcsmartcookies.com to their safe sender list. This cookie launch email will allow girls to set up their cookie sales website, set their goals, and get their email contact list uploaded into ABC Smart Cookies so they're ready for the first day of the program. Girls will not be able to send emails to customers before the program officially starts, but the system will give girls a chance to set up their online cookie business in advance. As the Service Unit Cookie Manager, you have an important role at the trainings for Troop Cookie Coordinators. At the Part 2 workshop for this Service Unit Cookie Manager training, you will choose an in-person Troop Cookie Coordinator training to sponsor. So check your calendars before you arrive. By sponsoring a Troop Cookie Coordinator training, you will be expected to arrive 30 minutes prior to the training to help with setup and check-in. Check-in will include having volunteers sign in if they've pre-registered and assisting walk-ins, as well as helping those who don't know their Service Unit name and number. You will also distribute training materials and help volunteers identify their Service Unit Cookie Team contact information to put in their troop plan books for easy access. Troop Cookie Coordinator trainings will begin promptly. Please encourage late arrivals to check in quickly and quietly. While the training is in progress, you will prepare and sign certificates of completion so attendees are ready to leave as soon as the training wraps up. After the training, you may pass out Service Unit specific information to Troop Cookie Coordinators in your Service Unit. Be sure to stay afterwards to help clean up and answer questions. To further prepare for your role at training, we recommend reviewing the Troop Plan Book online and completing the online Troop Cookie Coordinator training. Every Service Unit Cookie Manager is encouraged to complete Troop Cookie Coordinator online training in order to assist volunteers prior to their sponsored Troop Cookie Coordinator training. At the in-person training you sponsor, you will be too busy working to focus on learning. Give yourself time to review the Troop Plan Book and the online Troop Cookie Coordinator training prior to your sponsored training. 
If you are a Troop Cookie Coordinator for your troop, you must complete Troop Cookie Coordinator training in addition to hosting your sponsored training. A critical next task for your role is to create a Troop Cookie Coordinator roster so you can track the five steps to their appointment. To get started, contact your Service Unit Data Management Coordinator for a roster of current troop leaders. Then download the Troop Cookie Coordinator roster template from the product sales website gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under Resources and Forms. Every Tuesday and Thursday beginning November 20, 2018, Girl Scouts of Orange County will post the Troop Cookie Coordinator reports on the volunteer network. This report will list the Troop Cookie Coordinators who have selected their role, as well as their membership and background screening status. Copy the information from the Troop Cookie Coordinator report and paste it into your Troop Cookie Coordinator roster template. Please note that if a Troop Cookie Coordinator has not selected their role in MyGS, they will not be listed on the Troop Cookie Coordinator report posted on the volunteer network. Here are the steps you will review before officially appointing a Troop Cookie Coordinator. One, each Troop Cookie Coordinator must register online as an adult for the current membership year. Two, they must select their role in MyGS as a Troop Cookie Coordinator. Have them contact customer care if they need assistance with this step. Three, if the volunteer does not have a current background screening on file, they will be guided to complete this process after selecting their role. Four, each troop must complete a troop banking form online every year beginning August 1st. This list is posted on the product sales website, gscookiesetc.org slash cookies, under resources and forms, and updated twice a week for you to check the status. Five, complete training. New troop cookie coordinators need to complete volunteer training for Girl Scout series and events training from Girl Scout University, and all troop cookie coordinators must complete troop cookie coordinator training, online or in person, every year. Volunteers should forward you a copy of their Troop Cookie Coordinator Certificate of Completion so you know this requirement has been met. Appointing Troop Cookie Coordinators is an important part of your role. Check off each step as the Troop Cookie Coordinators complete them. If a Troop Cookie Coordinator does not appear on your weekly report from GSOC, it means they have not selected their role in MyGS. Remind the Troop Cookie Coordinator to select their role and have them contact customer care if they need assistance. Follow up with your volunteers on any incomplete steps. If a volunteer is not responding to your email, send them a text or make a personal call and offer your help. Once a Troop Cookie Coordinator has completed the five steps to appointment, enter them as a user into ABC Smart Cookies. This will send them the launch email. In addition, you should send a welcome email congratulating them on being officially appointed to their role. Use the template on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. Be sure to customize the template with your contact information and service unit specific information, including the date of your cookie booth lottery. Volunteers may be added to ABC Smart Cookies while they are in process, so they can place their initial cookie order, but must be officially appointed to the Troop Cookie Coordinator role in order to earn troop proceeds. And it is important to remember that troops must have a troop banking form on file to pick up cookies. On January 17th, email customer care at girlscoutsoc.org a copy of your Troop Cookie Coordinator roster showing the current status of your volunteers. Note on the roster if a volunteer has been appointed, is in process, or if the troop is not participating at this time. If you appoint volunteers after the January 17th deadline, please send an updated Troop Cookie Coordinator roster to customer care. And don't forget, if a volunteer is not marked appointed to the Troop Cookie Coordinator role, the troop will not earn troop proceeds. There are several items you can take care of while waiting for your Troop Cookie Coordinators to be appointed. First, encourage them to complete training right away. If a volunteer does not receive the weekly emails, ensure the Troop Cookie Coordinator role is selected in MyGS and remind them that the newsletters are also posted on GirlScoutsOC.org under Cookies for Cookie Sellers. Encourage troops to visit gscookiesetc.org slash cookies to find information about the initial order bonus and links to helpful resources, such as the cookie sales history chart, which will help troops determine how many cookies to order. You may also add volunteers to ABC Smart Cookies while they are in process so that they can place their initial order. However, a troop cookie coordinator must be officially appointed for a troop to earn proceeds. Be aware that your service unit materials coordinator should hand out troop packets to all troops in December so troops can set goals and conduct family meetings and be ready to place their initial order the first week of January. 
After initial orders in January, troop cookie coordinators who have not completed the appointment process or turned in a troop banking form should be marked inactive in ABC Smart Cookies. Send these troop cookie coordinators an email explaining that they will not have access to the ABC Smart Cookies or cookies until they have completed the appointment process. A template is available at gscookiesetc.org under Resources and Forms Email Templates for Appointment. A week before the cookie distribution day, email troops who have not completed the appointment process using the notice in your email template. Troops missing troop banking forms will not be able to pick up cookies until the troop banking form has been completed. As the service unit cookie manager, you should take the lead to coordinate a cookie rookie talk in the fall. This is an informal information session to learn about the cookie program and to encourage troops to participate. It is most often held prior to the November service unit meeting, but can be offered as late as December or January, especially if you have several late forming troops. Invite your troop leaders and encourage them to bring along a couple of troop volunteers. Experienced troop leaders know that parents are much more comfortable taking on responsibilities when they have the support of their leaders. Understand the scope of the role and the time commitment involved. Cookie Rookie Talk Tips are available on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under Resources and Forms. Here is a brief outline of what you should cover at a Cookie Rookie Talk. Share the purpose of the Girl Scout Cookie Program, which is not a fundraiser, but an opportunity for girls to learn and earn. Answer who can sell cookies, all Girl Scouts. Share the benefits of troops participating in skill building activities and earning troop proceeds. Share that 100% of the net cookie proceeds stay in Orange County to benefit local Girl Scouts and are used to enhance the Girl Scout leadership experience and program opportunities. Create a game to learn about our cookie lineup. This is a great opportunity for you to use the sampler to let everyone taste the cookies. Review how girls sell. Details about our direct sale, online and booth sale options, as well as how to use order cards and why it's important to place an initial order. Remind them of important cookie program dates and deadlines. Offer tips for recruiting parent volunteers to take on the troop cookie coordinator role, including how to divide the role and make it easier to manage and to engage more troop helpers. Finally, share the steps for troops to get started. Many troops will need your support in December to determine their initial order of cookies. Service units are encouraged to offer a workshop to help troops determine their initial order. We do not recommend doing this at a service unit meeting or cookie rookie talk. Instead, invite your troops to an informal gathering at Starbucks or other meeting location of your choice to share strategies on how troops can determine their initial order. Girl Scouts is girl-led, so encourage troops to set goals with their girls as they begin to plan their initial order. Once the troop knows what they want to do, they will know how much money they need to earn to support their goals. Troops should order 85% of the cookies they plan to sell at initial order. As you support troops in planning their initial order, be sure to share the initial order bonus flyer, an article on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. The flyer spotlights rewards that can be earned by placing a specific size order by the initial order bonus deadline. New troops may want to refer to the Girl Scouts of Orange County Council averages listed on the initial order flyer as a guideline. Returning troops should review the cookie sales history chart on cookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. Remember, there are no minimum or maximum orders, but all troops should order some cookies at the initial order or they will not have cookies to sell the first few days. Ask your service unit consultants to present at your service unit meeting about how to conduct goal-setting sessions with girls. They can share ideas and opportunities to ensure activities planned are quality Girl Scout leadership experiences. Service unit consultants can also identify troops who have set goals for the year are ready for their family meetings. Troop cookie coordinators will learn more about conducting family meetings at training. You can help by promoting the importance of having family meetings where everyone attends together so the girls can share their troop plans and goals with their parents. You are almost done with part one of the service unit cookie manager training. After receiving your certificate of completion, your next steps are to schedule a cookie rookie talk, Schedule an informal initial order workshop. Register for the Service Unit Cookie Manager Part 2 workshop. At the November 28th workshop, our ABC Bakers rep will present what is new with ABC Smart Cookies and the cookie program. We highly recommend attending this training. All Service Unit Cookie Managers will pick up troop plan books and family guides when they attend the workshop. Create your troop cookie coordinator roster. Appoint troop cookie coordinators and enter them in ABC Smart Cookies so they can place their initial order. Don't forget to review the service unit stretch bonus requirements you've learned in the service unit team training. 
share these requirements with your service unit team and set goals to start earning points. This concludes part one, online training component for service unit cookie managers. Thank you for volunteering for this important position. We appreciate everything you do to support Orange County's Girl Scouts and for joining our cookie program team. Remember, additional information and answers to your questions can be found in the product sales website at gscookiesetc.org slash cookies. And you can always contact product sales for assistance by emailing customercare at girlscoutsoc.org. It's review time. Passing the quiz with a score of 90% will allow you to download your certificate of completion from gsoclearning.com. Bring your certificate of completion with you to the Part 2 workshop training for a prize. If you've jotted down any questions, please bring them with you to the Part 2 workshop or email to customercare at girlscoutsoc.org with cookie question in the subject line. And we'll be sure to get back to you with an answer right away. We look forward to seeing you at Part 2 of this training.